Hello again. We're incredibly excited that you have joined us today for our webinar. So let's just go ahead and get started. My name is PJ Hoke and I'm with Technion Data Solutions. And I'd like to welcome you to Technion's Preparing for Tableau Conference 16 webinar. This webinar is sponsored by us, obviously, and I just want to let you know that we help companies organize, see, and understand their data. We design, architect, and implement BI solutions. From data warehouse development to data structuring to data preparation and blending, advanced analytics, and of course, data visualization. We are proud to be a Tableau Gold Partner, Alteryx Premier Partner, and a Wearscape Platinum Partner. Bottom line is, we love data. We love Tableau, and we are extremely passionate about helping our clients unlock the truth and the insights hidden in their data using Tableau. Let's get going with our webinar today. Today we have a great panel lineup that will share their perspectives on how to prepare for conference. Please join me in welcoming Zen Masters and Tableau Ambassadors, Joshua Milligan and Bridget Cogley, along with a panel of Technion consultants. Our panel consultants include seasoned Tableau conference veterans as well as first timers. Welcome Will Gray, Brian Vinson, Preston Howe, and Angie Pack. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Uh, but the very first thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, open up a poll here really quickly, just so that we can uh, understand your your conference experience and whether you've been before, whether you're going this year. So I think this is our first time to try one of these polls. But you should see that on your screen, and um, and if you do, go ahead and do that. We'll uh, we'll give this about 30 seconds. Uh, or so. Uh, the other thing that, that I wanted to mention is that you know we're going to go through this. We've got uh, we've got one of our uh, first timers here who's going to ask some questions so that uh, so that he can get some answers about conference. But it's also open to uh, to any of you to ask any questions as well. So you should see questions uh, a questions window there in the webinar. And if you want to type out any question along the way, uh, we'll try to, to get that to the panel as well so that they can see it. And uh, that's what we'll do. So just a couple more seconds on the poll. All right, 10 seconds. And I'm going to close the poll. And I'll go ahead and share the results. So uh, looks like we've got, uh, we've got about 73% of you uh, who have never been before, but you're going this year. So that's outstanding. I look forward to seeing you guys there. Uh, another 20% another of you have been before and you're going again this year. So that's great. Uh, about 10% of you have said that, that you've never been and you're not going to be able to go this time, maybe maybe next time. That's great, too, because we'll talk a little bit about what to do if you're not able to go to conference. So, so we'll definitely address some of that as well. Um, so thank you very much for, uh, for participating in that. And I'll go ahead and turn it over to Brian to uh, start asking some questions. And feel free to ask your questions along the way, too. So uh, Bridget? You have been to the Tableau conference before. My question would be, um, the app came out. I saw that I can register for the app and get signed in there. When should I go ahead and start picking my sessions? I would say go ahead and start picking them right away. So if you're not on your phone right now picking them out, go ahead, get your phone, and start picking out sessions. They do fill up quickly. The other thing I would say, pick four or five of them. Some of them will fill up, some of them you'll get into and say, no, maybe this isn't the right one for me. Other times, I'm not going to lie, it is very, very crowded. So it, sometimes it's also just helpful to say, okay, it's just too crowded for me. I'm going to go to the closest session um, that I'm interested in. So I would that would be my advice. And if I can jump in really quick, this is Preston speaking. Um, I was just looking at the app and already quite a few sessions are filling up and what I saw is that many of the beginner sessions specifically are filling up more. So if you are a beginner, I would hop on getting some of those free training sessions that you can get. 
one thing that I would add is, is double check and see if it's a repeated session because there are some sessions should despair. Uh, or look for a session that's similar. That's really helpful. So um, as I'm looking at like, the little registration icon next to them, can you guys tell me what that's all about? Like, why do I need to register for some of these? Yeah, so you're going to see you're going to see some that have the register and some that don't. Uh, the ones that don't are so so you show and in the past they've had people up if they're full they'll tell you sorry uh, and that's the ones that are registered. Okay, so yeah, register because you get the re you get registered and you're guaranteed to seat. Uh, in that session, uh, as long as you register before it fills up. A and couple additional points on that. Um, so the sessions that you can register for, if they're full and you're like, I really want to go to this, I would make sure to still go um, because if people don't show up, they will open up for people who just were walk-ins. Uh, additionally, it's helpful to plan out your schedule and favorite the ones you want to go to even if they do not have um, registration because Tableau can monitor that and they've been known to change around room locations to accommodate a larger audience. That's a, a really great point, yeah, especially um, the starring kind of registering your favorites. I have seen them shift those around. Um, the other thing too is usually the registration ones are either hands-on ones from Tableau or other ones that are very, very um, common or favorited. So that's kind of another thing to keep in mind. And lastly, if you can't get into a session, do remember these are recorded. So you can always go back and watch that session later, including the hands-on ones. They will provide the workbook as well. Awesome. I must have missed that. I didn't realize they were recorded. That makes it even better. Thanks, Bridget. Thank you. Should I stick with a couple of specific tracks, or do you think I should go with what just sounds like a good session? So my advice on that would be I would pick kind of a theme. I wouldn't necessarily say pick a track, but I would pick a theme, whether it's calculations or dashboard design. And I would maybe commit 50% of your sessions to that, but then also commit maybe some more sessions to inspiration. A lot of times, I know last year my thing was I'm going to get calculations, I'm going to master data. There comes a point where you blow up your brain. And so it's really good to have those soft sessions, whether it's a customer story or um, um, Jeff Petty Ross does a really good session on kind of the history of data visualization. Picking some of those to A, give your brain a break, but B, expose yourself to something a little bit different is always good because you may not realize what else you're interested in. I know on accident I took a session on the web developer kit and that was actually really fascinating to me and probably one of my more valuable sessions even though it was not in my original plan. Okay, so uh, there, are, there are a couple of questions coming through uh, on the webinar, and that's great, and uh, I guess a couple of comments, too. So one comment is that uh, the breakout sessions don't require registration, but the hands-on classes require registration. I, I think that's generally true. Uh, Double-check that uh, for sure, but I think that's generally true. Another question came through uh, from Jennifer. Can sessions be chosen on the desktop computer? Um, as I understand it and everything I've seen is that you can only do it through the app. Um, additionally, even, even if you wouldn't want to download the app otherwise, I'd encourage having it simply because you're going to be carrying your phone with you at conference. So it'll be helpful to have the map as well as your schedule that you've picked out. Um, and there are a lot of features in the app that aren't as touted as maybe they should be, such as the ability to network and message guests. So if you know that, that a coworker or somebody you briefly met in other business interactions is going to be attending, you can search for them and message them in the app even if you don't have their email or phone number, which can be really helpful. Yeah. Other questions, so uh, Michelle asked breakout sessions. 
uh, definitely check the app because that's going to be sort of the, the source of truth for everything. Um, so if you have a session that you want to make it to, double check to make sure you don't have to register. Uh, Mindy asks, what will the Reference Center in Austin can't hold data heads? Right, and Josh, yeah, uh, Josh, I think um, you've actually got a really good map on the uh, PowerPoint slide that kind of shows all the different areas. So you're going to have some breakout sessions in different parts of different hotels. I know, for example, I'm presenting. So definitely plan to walk. I mean, this is definitely where that comfortable shoes tip comes in as well as sometimes it's just easier to kind of look at the route and say, okay, I've got one session that's in one hotel all the way over here, and then my next one that I really wanted to go to is all the way on the other side of the You don't need a time turner or a teleporter, but um, sometimes it's also pick and choose. Like, I know I want to make this session. I see it's over here, so I'm going to kind of pick sessions in that area. Yeah, it looks like the uh, the tracks kind of keep you in one spot. So if you have a track, you would kind of be in the same building throughout the conference. But yeah, it would definitely be good to pack those walking shoes. Um, I just want to add in that it's my understanding that everything is done kind of in a circle among the hotels, the convention center, and so Bridget mentioned, make sure you bring comfortable walking shoes and what Brian said about having your track in a certain area. But there will be um, a good amount of walking required just because of the size of the conference. Well, there is going to be a lot of walking shoes stressed about that. Um, Tableau obviously knew that it was going to be a challenge to be everything in different buildings. Um, and they've said that nothing is more than a 15-minute walk from elsewhere, and for those of you who attended conference last year, you know that there were plenty of ways that you could have a longer walk than that all within the MGM grant. So in some ways, it'll be challenging because it's in different buildings, but it's not going to be the end of the world. So now we're like talking about logistics and stuff. I should I like eat breakfast at my hotel before I drive over? Like, I'm really concerned that I'm not going to be while well, I'm at that blue conference. What should I do? Um, as the resident foodie and picky eater, I'll, I'll go ahead and jump on this. Well, number one, Tableau provides bits and bytes, so grab those everywhere you see them. They're pretty much all over the place. Number two, Tableau does provide a certain number of the meals for free. Number three, they've also got coffee bars in a lot of places. So food is really the least of your concerns. At least that was my experience. And again, I'm a picky eater. <laughs> yeah, and I am not a picky eater. Uh, so yeah, food was not a concern for me either. I, I have never seen so much food just out for the taking. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, you will eat well at the conference. Um, breakfast, not a concern. They provide that. Show up. Uh, you'll see it on the schedule, um, and I think it'll be more clear where it is. Uh, but yeah, I anticipate some good breakfasts, good lunches, and uh, should be great. Additionally, with the food, a couple years ago, Tableau um, got some feedback that they needed to have more food available all the time, and that was a change they made last year, which was really helpful. Um, so if you happen to miss the main lunch hour, that's fine. They will still have additional snacks throughout the day. Well, that sounds amazing. I can't wait to get there. <laughs> so Sarah asks, um, how does she know which sessions require additional uh, expenses or fees uh, beyond the registration fee? Um, are there ones that you have to register for, and are those the ones that cost more? If That's I a great question. You got it, Bridget. Okay, if I understand correctly, the only ones that you have to pay for, and again, anybody jump on this if it's wrong, it's the ones on Monday and Friday. Those are the additional training. So fundamentals, I believe they've changed their names now to desktop one, two, and three. Um, and then also things like the visual analytics course and the server courses again on Monday and Friday. Anything during the conference and anything that's you know, one or two hours, those, from what I understand,
understanding they're completely per or included in the cost of the conference. To ask, these are not recorded, is those, and then count on recordings for the breakout sessions. I'd recommend not focusing only on hands-on, simply because that would be a lot of in-depth, difficult Tableau training in a stretch of three days. Um, with that being said, I every conference I go to, I try to do at least one hands-on session just so that I can actually be in the tool instead of just conceptually learning and seeing how other people are using Tableau. Um, it's very helpful to get at least one of those. You don't overdo it because you will forget everything from those last few sessions you go to then. And to ride on that, they also do provide the intended to where it can also be self-guided and self-run. So please don't feel like you have to. I actually find it almost beneficial to take some of those offline um, just because I was able to go at my own pace. Cool. So if I get to ask some more questions, I think they would be kind of related to packing. Like I need to get out of paper grant. What sort of clothes do people wear at this conference? Is this like business casual, shorts, jeans? And since I'm packing, how many business cards do I need to bring for like raffles and stuff? Bridget? So I think I may be coming the farthest of this group, and I plan on bringing all of my business cards, and then I'm bringing all of my Tableau shirts, which I have several, and I will be bringing every colorful pair of bell bottoms I have. So it's definitely very casual, very comfortable. I will only bring my Dansko walking shoes, and um, some water bottles probably, just so that way I've got some extra containers to carry water. But again, I'm packing light, I'm rolling everything in my bag, and I'm going for comfort. I, I may bring a sweater as well because we are going to Texas and you guys like to keep your AC on pretty much all year round is my understanding. So while it may be warm outside, it's probably not going to be that warm inside. Awesome. I just will add to that that not only is conference normally on the casual side, you will see some people there business casual, but often by its sure culture and environment is a very casual place. So I don't have to wear a shirt. Awesome. Yes, you do have to wear a shirt. Wear a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a t-shirt, or it could be a dress shirt and jeans. So. All right, so Dell has a concern about the app. It, uh, he was able to download it, but not necessarily uh, able to log in. So Dell, I would recommend uh, reaching out to to Tableau on that one. If, if you've tried your registration ID, it was in the email and it's still not working, um, reach out to them. I think there's an email that the app will tell you or, uh, or, the, or the, that original email you got. So the app came through on Monday, or the email came through on Monday at the bottom, it has your registration ID. And it took me about 30 minutes to figure out how to log in because I wasn't putting the dashes into the registration ID. So try that and that might help. And for any other technical issues, I would email TCC, so Tableau Charming Charlie hyphen ops, O-P-S, ops, at Tableau. They'll also provide issues. So Joshua, what sessions are you most excited about? Yeah, so I, I love going to the, some of the technical uh, sessions for desktop. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited about some of the, uh, the sessions that Bora, Baran does, um, uh, Bethany Lyons, um, anything that they do with, um, with level of detail calcs or, or uh, advanced calculations, that's, that's what I enjoy. But I also, like Bridget, I, I do enjoy some of the inspirational ones. So, so some of the, the ones about how data visualization and Tableau are being used to fight malaria or or, or other sessions like that, uh, those are also really fun because you see you see how the visualization is being used for good, and uh, and then there are some that are just inspirational. You just see some really cool things that people are doing with Tableau that you've never thought about doing. So, so those are the, those are the ones that I, I look forward to the most.
And, and one random, dang, uh, one random session that every year um, I find interesting and enjoyable, and I've heard um, is always a fun theatrical spectacle. Is the using Tableau like a Sith? Um, the Tableau conference. One thing I appreciate as a nerd is that it's filled with nerds, um, and so many sessions have creative names like the use Tableau like a Sith. And uh, this is all about hacking Tableau to do cool, crazy things you wouldn't think about. And the uh, people teaching the class always dress up as Darth Vader and every character imaginable from Star Wars, complete with lightsabers, and it's just entertaining. So I'm excited about that one. I would say I usually try to pick one or two sessions that are completely out of my comfort zone. Not so much because I expect to learn it from that session, but because I expect more to expose myself. And then I can go back later and rewatch that particular session. The other thing I do sometimes is if I know I want to meet a particular person, I will go sit in on their session that they're presenting. So I've got a couple people, um, and I'll be going to see that way this year. Cool. All right. So Audrey asks, how does Tableau Doctor work? Uh, would I just need a workbook on my flash drive? So that's that's a great question. Um, as you watch the uh, the pictures uh, show up here, you may even see a picture of me dressed up as a Tableau doctor. I actually got to uh, to uh, be part of that uh, last year, which was a lot of fun for me. Uh, and it's it's a great thing. So so the Tableau doctor, those are some Zen masters that they invite to sit in. And they're there to answer your questions. And if you have a specific problem, so you've got you've got some data you're trying to to figure out how to get it to work, or calculations, or connecting to it, yeah, bring a flash drive with your data, with your workbook, uh, and that way the Tableau doctor will be able to help you specifically. But you can also go and just talk to them in general. You can say, I I just want help understanding table calculations. And I remember my my very first. Uh, Tableau conference. Uh, I went with a with a colleague here, and uh, and that was what we did. We sat down with the Tableau doctor for half an hour and said, "What are these table calculations? We know they're there, but we've never used them." And then he walked us through what what table calculations were, how they worked, and it was really cool. So so definitely check out the Tableau doctor. Don't don't miss that, even if your question's more general, uh, but especially if you have. Uh, specifics. Bring, bring it on a flash drive, and they'll be able to uh, to take a look. All right, and then uh, Jeff says I have to travel about ten miles out. There were no hotels available, unfortunately, and it did fill up pretty fast. How is travel to downtown, and how is parking? A couple of us will take that because um, I am in Austin quite often. Um, it is our understanding that Tableau will have buses routing throughout all the hotels that are on the website if you happen to be in, an, in a conference hotel. And those buses will run continually morning, you know, day and night at whatever time the schedules are on that. So I would plan accordingly. I would plan anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes to make sure you have ample time to get in from north of town or south to the actual conference area because traffic in Austin is an issue. So. The other thing that I would say, um, this is my first Tableau conference, um, but I've been to South by Southwest three times, which is in Austin. And uh, right there at the Austin Conference Center, there's a couple of parking garages that are really easy to get to. Uh, and so I usually drive about the same distance. I stay out of town and drive in. And I just try to get to the parking garage by 7.30, which sounds really early, but you can get a good spot. There's no traffic, uh, and then you just pay for parking for the day, and you're, you're good to go. You can walk everywhere else from there. Okay, we've got another question here. If you're unable to attend the conference, can you purchase the workbook that's provided at the conference? So, yeah, I know that there's a single workbook that's provided. Uh, some of the hands-on sessions do have workbooks, but I think those are usually made available uh, even to, to people who didn't attend the conference. So uh, you can get almost all of that material. 
uh, without attending conference, and, and they'll make the, all the sessions, the recordings available, um, usually a few months out, so it won't be won't be right away. But uh, but yeah, you should you should be able to get almost anything. All right. And another question about any ideas about what data night out will consist of this year? Sixth Street, super great bands. What uh, what do you guys anticipate? I'm hearing all of the above. I've even heard that there's probably a Texas theme to the night out, which would make sense. Um, but that's, they're being very secretive about it. So but it'll be a lot of fun. So bring bring your cowboy hat and boots. I would think so. I don't know that that falls under the comfortable shoe rule. <laughs> <laughs> if you live in Texas, I, I think it does. You guys do. I don't. <laughs> All right. And uh, Sarah asks, what are the learning tracks noted in the app? I'm not finding those and wondering if she's just overlooking. Um, so I found the, the tracks by going to the app, and then you can choose uh, sessions and then filter on the session on the bottom right. And then you can choose tracks, um, level type or skill type. Uh, and there's one other thing you can choose from. Uh, and then you can look across the days to see what often on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday tracks that you choose. Cool. Um, one more question here about Tableau Doctor. How do you get an appointment? So when you get there, I think you can go, oh, right. go straight <laughs> to the Tableau Doctors, you know, find out where they're located go there and you can sign up for an appointment slot uh, and there will be a lot of them there so I think in the past few years that you you wouldn't have had a problem getting an appointment if if you do it early on if you wait till the end of the conference uh, they'll probably be booked up uh, is there a place online to see a complete list of these sessions I find seeing the in the app I totally agree um, but yes you can go Search Google for TC16 uh, schedule. It'll come up. Uh, you can look at it there. It's a lot easier to see there. Also in the app, you can you can sync it with your calendar, and I found that helpful for getting a big picture of, OK, I signed up for these sessions. Now I can actually see how they all fit together. Uh, the, other, the app is, is hard. The other really nice thing, too, is Tableau makes the raw data available. So if you just go to tc16.tableau.com backslash data, you can download the data either through the um, Web Data Connector or as a CSV file, and you can actually make your own Tableau dashboard for your session. So you do find that it's incredibly helpful, A, to get the big picture, but B, because it allows you to filter and play and explore the data in a way that's very natural um, using the software for the conference that you're going to. There are a lot of uh, dashboards and visualizations that connect to that data set that Bridget just mentioned on Tableau Public. Uh, every year I find it fun to just see the various dashboards people come up with and different ways they have to help. Um, one that I saw this year, so you input your schedule and then it shows walking distances between classes, um, which I just thought was a unique way of doing it since, as we mentioned earlier, it's going to be a little more spread out this year in different buildings. All right. And Bridget, can you repeat that link one more time? TC16 dot tableau dot com backslash data. All right. How does that look, Bridget? Where am I looking? On your screen. <laughs> yes. Oh, I see it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Dang. <laughs> so, South by Southwest a few times, but this is my first tablet conference. So, I know two mainstays for most conferences are the keynotes and the exhibit hall. Um, but that's like tens of thousands of people, supposedly, that are going to be in this the, these keynotes. Is it worth standing in line for? Is it worth walking from the other side of Austin? to make it to the keynote, <laughs> um, what do you guys recommend? I say emphatically yes. 
the keynotes are very um, well received. A lot of planning is put into it and the selection of their speakers. Very, very encouraging. They normally start off on Tuesday with an opening session where most likely Christian, who's a chairman of the board, will be speaking tomorrow as well as possibly their new CEO. Oh, excuse me, not tomorrow, on Tuesday. <clears throat> and then, of course, all the other general sessions that have guest speakers that are all part of your Tableau schedule and calendar, I'd encourage you to visit with them. There will be two exhibit halls this year, which normally it's just one exhibit hall, but they have more exhibitors, and of course there's more people to move around, so they're trying to keep everything as mobile as possible and easy for people to access. So there will be, uh, that will be on your calendar and your schedule, so look at that in your app as to where you go for that. We are at booth 102. Would love to see you guys. Have you come by and say hi to all of these consultants that are on the phone with you today? PJ, do you know if they are going to uh, broadcast the keynotes in the exhibit halls like they have in previous years? I do know there's an overflow. Pardon me? I do know there's an overflow. An overflow area, so um, I'm not sure where the overflow area is. I would assume, I would say it's safe to assume it's where the sponsors are, um, but they had that last year. It was a great way if you knew you had a session that was kind of out there and you wanted to make the keynote, you could also go to the overflow area. You can ask anyone at conference where that is and they'll be able to point you to it. All right, there's a question here about room reservations uh, made with Tableau. Uh, those are guaranteed, right? They should have yeah. a confirmation number. Tableau normally, um, you know, it's easy to sign up early on, but for those that maybe registered a little bit later, Tableau is definitely assigning those rooms. But if you don't hear, I would say by the end of this week, at the very latest next week, I would reach out to Tableau. All right. There's another question here asking me to repeat the names of the sessions and speakers that I like, but I'm not going to because I want to make sure I have a place in it. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I was looking forward to Bora uh, Baran's uh, presentation, Bethany Lyons, uh, others. I was actually kind of behind the game. I was just signing up yesterday for some of these sessions, so I'll have to go back and look, but uh, there, were, there were quite a few good ones it looked like. Josh is also being humble. He's excited about his own session, own session that he's teaching. Um, and I'm excited about Bridget. I don't know if Josh is, but I personally am excited about Bridget's session. She's going to be talking and passing her knowledge about making a Tableau dashboard look really pretty, and I'm very excited for that. Yeah, well, more than that, she has a whole theory on how data visualization uh, is becoming like a language. And she sold me on that theory. I, I buy it now, now that I've uh, seen what she has to say, but her session will have, I'm excited about that. Well, Joshua and Bridget, why don't you share with those that are on the webinar what day your session is and what time? Do you know? So right now I am Tuesday at 12.15. Um, again, that's always subject to change. Right. Uh, yeah, okay, so I had to, had to get it past to me here to find out for sure. Uh, yeah, so Wednesday, November 9th, 1045 uh, in ACC L1 Ballroom A. But yeah, again, subject to change. Mine is fun or serious, how to use both to improve your dashboards. So we'll, we'll be having fun with data and we'll be serious with it as well. And I've got a question here. It says, can we buy a copy of your new book and get you to sign it for us at conference? Absolutely. I love questions like that. Um, you can buy 10 copies. I'll sign all 10. So, uh, I will hold you to that, Joshua. <laughs> but you can definitely bring the book with you to conference. We will have several of uh, Joshua's new edition, Learning Tableau 10 at the booth that we will be using as giveaways. So maybe you can, you know, win a giveaway, but also he will be there off and on at the booth to sign anyone's copy if they bring it to conference. All 
All right, and then Mike shared that he was contacted by Tableau earlier this week and told that uh, they're going through reservations right now and they'll confirm everything by the 26th. So that's, that's good to know. And then uh, another note here that uh, the app actually states that hands-on training sessions are not recorded, but the related materials will be made available post-conference. So Angie, is there like specific things about Austin that we should know? Um, like where the best ice cream is, or the best pizza, or if we can Uber and Lyft, those sorts of things? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, we don't have Uber and Lyft. Uh, we took that away from us. Or actually, we took that away from ourselves because we voted on it. And uh, so they do have an app called Fast In. It's F-A-S-T-E-N. Um, that you can download that, that works very similarly to the other two that is great. And then also Austin has pedicabs all over the place. I'm going to assume that they're going to know Tableau is coming and they're going to have the streets loaded with pedicabs. So if you want to jump on one of those, those are a lot of fun. Um, places to go, I think, uh, more than pizza. I mean, Amy's ice cream is known for, you know, or, or was created here, but I think barbecue is something that we're known for. So the uh, infamous Franklin's, we've been listed on the Food Network. So lots of restaurant choices, lots of places to eat in Austin. But Tableau is going to have you taken care of, you know, during the day. I definitely plan for the evening, though, and visit, um, you know, Barton Springs right there, uh, lots of places. and. Um, East, the East Side, and Rainy Street. I'm sure, sure, Tableau is going to have all of that stuff, uh, you know, planned out for you guys too. So, Angie, would you would you say it would be worth like missing a full day of Tableau conference to go to Franklin? Uh, to wait in line. Um, well, so here's the key: uh, you don't have to wait in line if you get a big enough order and you call it in. You can just walk up and get it. So there are ways to get around that line. Um, this is what we need. These are the tips we need. Yeah, yeah, there's a way to get around that line. And then right there again on Barton Springs, like Silver Park area, that whole area is just a really popular area. My personal favorite, I like Terry Black's Barbecue. They're also a local bar barbecue joint here. And then um, La Barbecue is like a... Um, food trailer type barbecue, any of your food trailers, they're everywhere. You'll see them, I'm sure, Tableau's also, because like in Seattle, they like had all the food trailers rented out, so I'm sure they're going to have that for you as well. You're going to get to taste a lot of good food in Austin while you're here. Yeah, so at the day to night out, last year in Vegas, it was all food truck food, and I believe I saw somewhere on Tableau's website that they're planning on doing the same thing this year at Data Night Out. Uh, I really liked that because I like food, and so I got to eat a bunch of different types of food. I sampled almost all of it last year. I plan on doing the same. <laughs> well, we think it's a Texas thing, but it's probably prevalent everywhere. Oh, yeah, I know. Right. Thank you, Angie. All right, so... I have a question here about t-shirts that are available at conference uh, from Tableau. Anyone here seen the designs of the t-shirts or know where you can see that? I usually not, but I saw on the app. I saw on the app that you can look at the, the data store and that's like all the t-shirts and stuff at the conference. Cool. There are some exhibitors that will have t-shirts as giveaways that they can run out of them pretty quick. We will have footballs at our booth if you guys want to come and get some football. What is something that most attendees miss? Yeah, you know, there's there's so much at conference, and I think everybody's focused on the sessions and the keynotes. Um, there, there are meetups for all kinds of different industries and, and uh, interest groups, so if, if you have a particular interest in healthcare or uh, or other industries. Look, look for those meetups. Uh, Tableau Doctor. Most people, you know, lots of people don't even know that that's available. 
Uh, there's also just, there's going to be different uh, places you can go to hang out with the Tableau community. So if you love the Tableau forums or, or Tableau on Twitter, uh, there should be places for that. Uh, make sure you get your photo taken in their photo booths, uh, holding up a sign that says, I love Tableau or I'm a data rock star or something like that. Um, I don't know, there's, there's probably lots of other things. What, what else do you get? I would definitely say the Women in Data is always a good one to go to. Um, and that is open for men and women. So please feel free anybody to come. I personally love the quiet use cases that are presented at Tableau. Hearing how other people are using Tableau, how it's actually been a game changer for them. All right. Uh, Angie, what, what again was the name of that app that you said that uh, we can use instead of Uber, Uber or Lyft? It's called Fast N, F A S T E N. All right, cool. So, I hope this doesn't happen, but what if I get like sick and I can't make it to the conference? Any way I can, what should I do? If I can't make it to the conference this year, is there any way I can see any of this stuff or hear any of this stuff? Well, definitely they'll make the recordings available, uh, you know, a month or two or three after after conference. Uh, so, yeah, you'll be able to see all of those, uh, except for maybe the hands-on. Uh, additionally, last year, I think, there were even live streaming uh, things. So you'll have to check that out. I, I, I you know, the virtual conference. So not entirely certain how that worked, but... If you're not able to make it to the conference, uh, definitely search on that, find out, because you you potentially could see uh, some of the sessions live, even if you're not there. All right, well... I think uh, I'm not seeing any other questions come through right now, and we're uh, we're getting close to time. So I think I think we'll bring it. Oh, Preston's waving at me. Bridget, exactly. Yeah. So so let's switch over to Bridget. She had something she wanted to show. I'm going to make her the presenter. So one, I want to know if there's a Starbucks. Is there a Starbucks in Austin on site around the convention center? And they are everywhere. Yes, there's one at the Hilton. It's right next to the convention center. But you're really going to want to like check out Joe's and Houndsuit. That's that's where you're going to want to get coffee in Austin. Tableau also will provide coffee at breakfast, which are free. And there's also, they do set up intermittent coffee bars as well, and I think that's where you can get your fancy coffee on, too. And they have tea for tea drinkers. All right, so there is one request here for the map that has been that slideshow. Uh, can we email that? Absolutely, we'll, uh, we'll send everyone an email at the close of, of the webinar, and we'll make sure to, to include that map. Uh, there's also a, a, uh, a handout, I'll, I'll put that map as part of the handouts, but there's a handout about, uh, about Technion, and you can also check out the map that I'll get there in a And uh, Bridget, I'll turn it over to you. Perfect. So one of the things um, for me last year, um, I went to the Tableau conference with the hope to build better dashboards. So right down the screen, I've got two dashboards I built before going to the Tableau conference. So you can kind of see the style I had before kind of just getting a feel for, okay, I want to build better dashboards is really what my goal was. And so kind of this is the early work uh, before Tableau Conference, and then getting into some of the work after Tableau Conference, and just being able to kind of play and explore and learn to do dashboarding a little bit differently. So I mean, I'll be sharing that knowledge of kind of that journey over the last year, but really figuring out 
how do I do this better was really my goal. So it wasn't that it was bad before, um, but just figuring out a way of doing it differently and better. So that's another thing that you can take away from the conference is just really pushing yourself to that next level and figuring out, okay, what is that next level, which for me I had no idea what it was. So another reason why I really strongly encourage people to check out also their work on public. That's also a great place to look is just hit Tableau Public, find some people you like, find them on the app, and either go to their session if they're presenting or just find a place to meet them. So that, that's my, my two-minute spiel. Bridget, you mentioned that your goal was to get better at dashboarding. Um, and you seem to be happy and think that you did. So did you go to conferences to do that? Or did you go to specific sessions? Or was it just through meeting and talking to various people? It was kind of all of the above. I originally went thinking, OK, I'm going to go sit in on some of the calculation sessions because that's what I need to do. And it really turned out, I would say, meeting people and also going off the beaten path and going into more of the customer sessions and seeing different ways. Um, but I would definitely say most critical was meeting people. And I can't stress that enough, is find people like you, find your tribe, if you will, and that will really help you grow. And the nice part is the Tableau community is very open and very willing to talk. Perfect. We want to thank you all today for investing your time with us. Um, we hope you found it fun and exciting and, and definitely enlightening. And we certainly look forward to being able to see you at the Tableau conference. Colleagues, I just want to thank you for the excellent job that you did today. Thank you for sharing your insights about the conference. And everyone on the webinar, we would really love for you to stop by and see us at booth 102. Come by, say hi, and uh, meet the team that you were able to talk with here today.